And I think we're live now. Yes, I think we are. So this will be a live Wikidata editing session. We don't have any really any concrete plans, but it's going to be me and Albin, who will be editing on Wikidata tonight or today, depending on where you are. I think we're in a European time zone. So for us, it's uh, on the early evening side. And I'm going to start sharing a screen here, I hope. And this is uh, going live on the Wikipedia Weekly Network. And if you want to get on it, go to Meta on Wikipedia Weekly Network. And you can see it. So let's, I'm going to see, I have a tab here. And I'll, yes, that's actually. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up here so I can. All it. So, oh, I need to switch my, I guess, my interface language to English so it will be easier for you to follow everyone out there. So, I have this sort of New Year's resolution where I'm creating a new Wikidata item each week. So, I call it 50 day, 52 Wikidata weeks. So, it's a similar to these 100 wiki days, but I'm doing one each week only. And I'm the challenge for myself, because creating a, a wiki data item isn't that hard, is to do a new instance of every week. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to create a new one. And this week, I'm going to do something that is of the type that you see here, and it doesn't even have a label in English yet. I'm, I should probably make this one a little bit larger so it will be easier for people to actually see. It looks like it's there's some room for... Yes, that's better. So what it is this is, is it's some sort of public consultation or public comment, but it's a special kind. So it's the Swedish kind, which we call remis. And it's not really a public comment because as the, the Swedish article states, it's mostly for other agencies or organizations. So that's what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to do is actually this this specific one is the one I'm going to create uh, an item for, because it's a consultation for open data from the new digital agency in Sweden. So it's going to be it's going to be an instance of a consultation. Oh, rather, I'm going to start here. So this is, I don't even know what, do you know what remis is in Swedish? Or in English? I should really know, I feel now. Um, <laughs> I, I don't after know. working at the government agency, but no, I have a new clue. Yeah. No, so, so, but actually, so I'm going to say this is a subclass of this consultation. That's going to be where, where I'm going to start. So this is not the new item that I'm going to edit, but I'm going to do some I'll publish that. And since this is the Swedish type, I'm actually going to add a country for this one as well. Sweden. Yes, that's the, that's the one. So that's a, a small little start. Uh, I'm going to actually edit the English here to something that I dare do. Probably need to do this window a bit larger as well. Yes, that's good. Yes, so we have we have a very nice question here in the in the chat. 
P31 or P29. P31 is the instance of, and P279 is the subclass of. And I would say subclass is where you have can have different types of it. An instance when there's just one singular uh, one, which you usually can name. And so that's why I'm going to be able to name this one with a P31, because it's also even have an ID. I don't think we have a, a property for those IDs yet in Wikidata. That's at least some sort of basic work here. And then I'm going to do, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new item. And when I do that, I, this will probably, yes. So the label for this, I'm going to just copy here. Double check. So that is the Word document. Why do why do they use Word? Yes, so that's the the correct name. So the this this will be the label. And the description will be Swedish consultation about open data principles it would be nice if I could spell as well about this the red things and I'm actually going to add the this one as alias because I don't think we have any other field to store it. Do you think that's correct? That Adding looks the, correct to me. Yeah. So yeah. Um, create that one. It's a property I believe we should have. Uh, it would make sense in yes, the future. I guess. Yes, I think so too. Yes, and I can correct it afterwards, of course. So, but I like to. So, and this will be instance of this one, which didn't have an English label. So I'll just grab the QID for now. And I perhaps I could add a source for this. I'll just add this as reference URL. This is a little bit of uh, not the nicest way to, to do a, a reference, but it is at least a reference, which someone could check. And let's add some statements to this. Uh, I do want country here as well, uh, not coconut. Sweden. And what kind of date would we use here? Published? I think we have a published date here. Or did we not? This one doesn't seem to state a date, but I think there was a date over here. So we have do, yes, we have a date here. So that's it going to be a different one. And so we'll go back here and publication date seems right. And that was 2020.03.22. Did I read that right? 23? Recent this week? And 
add a reference, reference URL here again. And I'll also retrieve this today. And then I guess if I just click add statement, we're gonna have some, oh, so we can add a title here again. The title is gonna be the same. And Oh, and I actually made the error there. Well, we'll fix that as soon as I, this is in Swedish and that was the error. So we'll go back. I was confused because I switched the interface just seconds before doing the edit. So we'll edit the label again. We'll move this one to Swedish and we'll call this principles for how would you translate this Albin tillgängliggörande av information för vidareutnyttjande oh <laughs> um Accessibility making. Um, for reuse? For reuse, yeah. Principle. Um, principles gonna, gonna for one. reusing. No. No, the wrong order. Principles for um, accessibility <laughs> of information yeah. to be reused. To be reused, yeah. And spell check on that. And in Swedish, we will call this remiss. All right, that will make it a little bit more findable. then we will, yeah, let's go on here and add a new statement, published in, uh, I don't know. So I was thinking about theme here, main, main subject, I guess. Main subject, yeah. Will be open data. Ties it in, in some way. And publisher, perhaps? Yes, that would be dig. No, not that dig. What's uh, their, their full name? Myndigheten för digital förvaltning. Here, what, well, oh, oh, yes. oh. I wonder what Ooh. these two are. Mm. We're gonna check. We, we're gonna check that as soon as I'm. <laughs> I'll save this one. Oh no, Swedish label or English label. That we're gonna check as well. So I guess they have a, a, an official English name. Do they have an English about us in English here? Do, do, do. And just their abbreviations. Why? That's very strange. If I go to start, is there an English here? Let's go for contact perhaps. No. 
This is weird. Just their short name. Huh. Is their short name in here? No. So let's add that. Short name. Big. Swedish, I guess then. Oh, oh, we have we have the answer here. It says in the oh. logo. I didn't see agency for digital government. Thank you. Uh, can I copy it from here as well? No, it says so in the logo. I didn't even see it. I'm blind. Oh yes, too small on my screen. Ah, uh, so that's gonna be awesome in here. So we'll edit here. Agency for Digital government. Government. Ah, spelling. Ah, no, couldn't edit because someone was quicker than me. <laughs> and that's edit conflict slide. I don't like it. It usually doesn't happen to me that much on Wikidata that I get edit conflicts. Has it, has it happened for for you, Albin? No, I don't think so. Uh, no, that is, I think this um, might be in my first. Yes. All right. So skip that one and This go could back become a to... thing here, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Maybe we were doing some sort of stress testing here. <laughs> no, not yeah. really. I, I guess we have a um, around I, thousand I just noticed an uh, interesting thing on this. Uh, this item actually, I see the label for Norwegian is the same mm -hmm. as the label in Swedish. Uh, um, and that makes me wonder, so it has an article in Norwegian, dig? Uh, which makes me wonder if if the label is just uh, the title of the article and not, and not an actual label in that language. Um, ah, all right, yes. Makes me wonder That's about the semantics. Uh, and someone says they, they're watching us both in YouTube and Facebook and there's two, sec two seconds difference. Which one is first then? <laughs> Which one is quicker? The faster stream. Uh, uh, I was about to add something more to this item. And uh, what was that? Uh, I went with publisher. Let's, let me reload to get Nice. Oh, what's this? Mm-hmm. I guess it, ah, oh, well, I'm gonna, Go for, where did I put the reference? Here's, no, not that reference, the other one. I'm gonna copy that reference and I'm gonna put it to the title and I'm gonna put it to the main subject and the publisher. Uh, that's, First, and let's see, what do we get here? I guess we could add language as well. Original language or language used? Original language of film or TV show, no. Language of work or name? Yes, this one. Swedish. Where did it go? I already did that. Or is or everyone editing on this item right now? Oh, I have to check here. All 
All right, so we're several people editing in this item. Oh, that's <laughs> makes it even more fun. All right, so that shows one of the weaknesses here. Oh, no, one already removed once. All right. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. Uh, it's good that we're helping out. Uh, but it, this one also shows an uh, uh, interesting side of the interface, I think, because you usually have to reload stuff to see it. Uh, uh, someone is asking, will you be conducting more live shows like this? Yes, I think I will. I have done a couple of in the past. They are available on my YouTube channel and Twitch. Oh, and, oh you won't find them on Twitch because Twitch is uh, bad in that way. It disappears. But in my YouTube channels, there's a couple of these. Uh, but I, this is the first one I do with a co-host. So we're going to switch around. And then Alvin is going to be mostly doing the editing. If I'm actually getting something done here. Uh, was, so we had the publisher here, and we do have. Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, I want to add full text available at, or something like that, full work available at. Oh, we don't have official name and the full title for work because it was, if I go back, uh, did I lose myself in this? Yes, so here we had a link to a, the Word document. So we'll copy that address and we'll add it here. Let's remove that and just publish and see if I get yes. And I want to qualify with it. No, that's not it. But I think we're going to add a qualifier with file format. And that would be I add docx. Oh, which one? <laughs> uh, this, uh, this thing, I think this could be another rabbit hole. Can I just control click to open this? I can. Nice. Office open. How do I know which one is? Oh, and why are there several of these? Why uh, should? And not link together either. Now this is the same one. Oh, here we go. Uh, ah. Maybe it is this one. Yes. So I'll go with this for the file format. Might be wrong, but someone could possibly correct that. I think we're at least a bit closer to what we aim for. I, Do they have a license on the document? No, they do not. I feel, I feel like they should when they They don't need have a... to because this is, uh, I'm going to add that as, as a separate thing. So I'll, I'll remove here and do, so I'm going to add copyright status. And this one is in the public domain. And I'm going to add a qualifier for determination method. And this one is uh, paragraph 26. 
in the Swedish copyright law and it has an item, I have used it before. So how do I find it in English though? What's the name of it? I think you can still search in Swedish. If I go with... Yes, first cat, first chapter, that's the one. Nice. No English label though. Can I add that? Is that easy? I think I think I could do that. So I guess this one would be sweet Swedish copyright. Act first chapter six paragraph. That's a little bit easier. And hmm, what else could you possibly say about this? Do you have any suggestions? I think that's that's quite okay. I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. So normally I would recommend everyone when you use this full text Mm -hmm. It's available somewhere. I would normally recommend people to add a link to the internet archive as well, just to save Ooh. it in the Wayback Machine. Yes, I, I like that. It happens that. to be the case that you cannot do that for Word documents. Uh, but if there is something like a PDF, it's... Oh, so, it's so it will just re reject it if, if you try it yeah. with the DocX? Exactly. So I'm, I'm actually going to check. You could try I it. Down I downloaded it here. Here and I'm gonna see if no, it's not the same that's on the web page, so it's more text. So I'll, I'll, I'll try it because I think that's a, a very useful thing to do. So we'll go to web.archive.org and we'll see a beautiful commons background in between. I have a extension to my Chrome that loads in some beautiful commons images for new tabs. And I'm going to grab that URL again if I lost it. And we're going to save page now. And we're going to see what kind of error message we get or not. I, I think we ha might have another possible solution if this does not work. It might not yet. So save page. Saving. Oh, it seems to work for you. It might. Interesting. Wheel of weight. Kindly share the YouTube link. Someone asks. So I was going to see if I can edit it. Uh, copy link address here. And can I? Oh, uh, not there. So I'm going to go to Facebook in another tab here and see if I can give you the link to YouTube. Can I do that? No, did I get an error message over there? You did. I know. So I'm going to just drop the YouTube link here. Oh, no, there's no. So now. You're actually asking me for another YouTube link, not this one. I'm going to drop down this one first and, and head back to what kind of error message did I get? Saving page, live page is not available. Downloaded elements one. So I'm going to go back here to return to save page now and do another trick that might might do it. 
And instead of going with the Word document, I'm going to take this one for the page and check in save out links. And sometimes that might work. And we let that one work. Come on, Web Archive, you can do this. If not, at least we save the, the other uh, reference URL because we use that one as a U reference, that URL. So, and I sure. guess there's uh, an archive URL property? There is. No, I di didn't. I got another. Ah. Uh, why? So maybe it stopped on the first outlink. So if I remove that one, boom, and just go here. Or is the Wayback Machine not happy today? Because that one would be useful for all these references. Oh, and I should have done it before I actually copied everything. No, no, I, I don't have any luck with Internet Archive today. So instead, I think I'm going to be happy here. Do you want to take the wheels for a while? Sure. Um... Let's see how one would do that. Yes, so you go to the... I'll stop screen sharing here. And yes, greetings from the Netherlands. Greetings in the Netherlands. So I'm actually in the Netherlands and Alpin is in Sweden somewhere, I guess. I am, I am in Visby. You're in um... Visby. Do you use archive.is sometimes? I have not. I've mostly been using the Internet Archive. Uh, but I'm going to also be help some. Uh, there's, um, there's your screen, yes. And yeah. just as a little tip, if you make uh, the yeah, I should zoom in. The window, no, yes, and also if you make the window smaller, it will actually automatically expand in the view here. Okay, you, let's try wait. that. Yes. Yeah. So, no, I, I have meant, actually... Yes, I meant if you make it uh, narrower, it will expand on the... It's very... Yes, there you go. Something like that. Then. Yes, um, perfect. I should oh, play no, around oh, with this. Oh, no, that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can actually see both screens here. Um, I have been playing around actually several times today with uh, glaciers and uh, their quality in Wikidata. Um, so I've been playing around a little bit with uh, visualizations. Um, I don't know if people know in general, but you can actually embed your Wikidata queries in, in Wikipedia articles and in media wiki pages in general. Uh, it's a very useful feature when you just want to highlight data of different kinds. So here we have some glaciers in Norway, uh, which actually have their geometries in Wikidata. Uh, which means that someone in that article could actually embed this. this and, and, yeah, and is the uh, geometry in Wikidata, or is it clever enough to get it from uh, OpenStreetMap? Uh, it should get it from OpenStreetMap, I believe. In this All case, right. All right, that's pretty there cool. Is a, we we could check. Um, looking here, if. It has a coordinate, but it doesn't look like it have a geometry. Let's see if it has an open street map. Yeah, so you can see here in open street map that it has a Wikidata tag, which means that uh, you can actually embed its geometry in, 
in an article. I just want to check if it's actually embedded in, for example, the Norwegian Wikipedia. Where does the site links go nowadays? Um, So I actually want to try this, um, edit the source, uh, my UI here is in a Wigan, that's... Could you zoom in once or twice as well? Yeah. Is it better? Yeah, it's better. Or... Yes. Yeah, great. Um... So I just want to try and better map here, it's a wiki, so... I have the possibility to do an error or two. Mm, when I, hope the, I need a Wikidata queue number. And I have to figure out what the syntax is. So there is a tag called map frame. Um, I just copied a link from the documentation of the MediaWiki extension, and I wanted the queue number here. I'm not going to do more than this to begin with, I believe. Um, and we are in a vegan. Ah, <laughs> tricky with three languages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, hopefully I got that right as well. As I said, I could actually edit it later. I'm gonna try to preview it. I'm not sure that always works for maps. Um, now we, we can see that the image doesn't show up. I'm gonna publish it and hope for the best. All right. Um, so it's something wrong in the preview function? Something is wrong. That's very interesting. Um, Gonna try the visual editor. It's so Alaska. Yeah, it happens to left the focus point from an example. Um, ah, but it it shows up there and it doesn't show up uh, here. Um, that's kind of sad. It should work like that, I believe. <laughs> um, it should be like that. Yes. Looks it great. should, yeah. Um, uh, I could. If you just remove the focus right points. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it should make a difference. You cannot remove the width and height, but you could try just removing the focus. Um, oh, and that did it. Uh, and now we have an interactive map or this uh, yes. geometer of the glass. Very nice. So it's just a little neat feature that uh, mm -hmm. not a lot like of people it. know about. Something yeah. you can do with OpenStreetMap, Wikidata, and such. Um, you can also have like uh, actually entire map files on commons mm -hmm. and uh, have polyometries from there. Um, there is some great uh, examples in the documentation where you can actually write queries to pull in additional information like uh, yes. If I would click this, it would could pop up with information about about it or 
whatever you can query for in Wikidata. Yes. Mm -hmm. So so the trick here was that you when you did the map, you did uh, I guess. When I did a map, in the in the code for the map, if you go to the wiki text, yeah, you, edit source. You, um, yes, so you service is a geo geo shape, and you just asked, give me give me the geo shape yeah. for this new idea. Yeah, yes. and then this service, this extension, auto automatically looks up the geometry in Wikidata or in uh, OpenStreetMap. So it knows because of this tag in OpenStreetMap, it mm -hmm. can look it up. Yes, uh, it's super and, useful. And if and, you, yeah, and if if someone else is wants to try this and doesn't get the results you want, it might be because what you're trying to pull in isn't a geo shape but a line. So if, for example, the streets, I know yeah. I had that trouble for a while. Yeah, and it's, uh, and GeoShape is the service you also, you, you can actually type something like query here and put in a SparkQL query. Um, and pull like many items that way. Uh, and I think this is comma separated, so we could technically write an order queue number here. Um, I actually made a minor edit as I had a spelling mistake in my Norwegian. In the only Norwegian word I wrote. Shake. <laughs> um, Oh, so we have a question here on Facebook about how yes. we get the shape. And actually, it's not Wikidata linking to OpenStreetMap. One actually has to go to OpenStreetMap and link Wikidata from there. Uh, it's a small, important thing that's yes. very useful. Yes, and, and very important. Mm -hmm. It's the, the other way around, Yeah, which uh, I, I guess is a neat little trick for every Wikimedian to also become uh, OpenStreetMap. Yeah, um, you cannot link OpenStreetMap item from Wikidata. Um, they change too much. Uh, they change IDs when you just edit them, the geometry itself. So um, it should be avoided. Um, I think we had a property back in the days, but I believe it's deprecated. Um, So, and I actually could show that as well. I, as I was editing glaciers earlier today, I see if we can do like this. Yes. Oh, I might, didn't do it. I might have fooled you a little bit and made, made you make the window a bit too narrow. I guess if you go do it a little bit wider, it's going to be like the, yeah, that's probably better. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I find this very useful when I edit something like on the team or something, create a page link in the link in the queries you write. I have some maintenance queries here that help me edit them efficiently and such. Uh, this is very useful if you have a page like this and publish it because author people can find it just by Googling. Um, so for example, here I have a query actually that adds for a specific ID, which is used for glaciers and the item has new coordinates because in this author database, there is always a coordinate, um, which makes it very useful to to use finds easy things you can change later mm. on. So here we have one glass here that has an ID in this database, but not a location. Um, it doesn't have a lot of data at all, actually. And then back on my page here, I actually have a link to this service that provides these IDs. 
and I could enter the ID here, I could search for it, get a bunch of data, mm. and I could actually download the geometries here and look up the coordinates. I'm not gonna do that because I can only share my browser window. Um, so it's a, it's a useful thing just to store everything in one place and let people be able to find it. Um, I also add things like some visualizations. Sometimes when I go ahead and edit items, I first want to see what's data that's missing. So for example, this glacier count by crown group I made just a while ago. Um, nothing too fancy, uh, a bit of statistics. It actually uses this bar chart by default. Ah, I can just nice. show the raw table. Uh, but we can see that Norway has a count of a little over a thousand, the US something similar. And we can just see that, for example, Asian countries, they have a lot of glaciers actually, but they aren't that common in Wikidata, which allows us to find gaps in data just by doing a bit of a query. Yep. Um, I think things like that is is very useful. For example, in Norway, of course, they have some territory, for example, Svalbard and such, but they are still incredibly overrepresented here. Um, is is that because of you, or is are there more Norwegian uh, editors? I actually, I think they have a national database which is CC zero. Ah, uh, that that of course so helps. So that contributes. Um, I'm gonna put a question up here for you now. Yeah. Um, is the map with the multiplication is user space a query during map? It is. It is. I can actually show the query. Um, just go here on edit. Um, and I have to edit the source, of course. Uh, so we can here see here, this is perfect. I have this external data we showed off earlier. Uh, and then I have a query. Um, I, I'm going to copy paste this into VDQS just to make it a little easier to see. That doesn't look too good. Uh, see if That's I copied better. it correctly. I did not. Let's see if I got everything wrong. I did not. No. This group. Let's hope for the best. Should to run kind of fast. Um, so actually, you don't really link in the coordinates or the geometries at all. You use the query for, in this case, the ID, which is the Wikidata item. You would normally mm -hmm. write ID team if you just use all the examples. And then I actually have a little bit of different. So normally when people use copy queries, um, you do something like only this part of the Wikibase label, and then you write like ID label. Yeah. I get it automatically, but I wanted it to be named description because it hooks up to this interactive map easily. Ah. And then you actually have to expand beyond that um, yeah. to within this service actually say, I want the label for this specific one, the queue number, and I want it to be called description. Um, yes. And then I have a... So, so do you need to change it to exactly description for the for it to hook it up? I, I'm i actually not sure. I You, you, you always do it and it works? I always do it and it works exactly. Um, <laughs> perfect I, I opportunity don't know. actually to try it. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna call it desk instead. See, did I go? No, I have a aggregation. Um, desk, right. I'm just gonna publish it. And it might take a while to show up now because I'm breaking the, the cache. So every time you do a query to Wikidata, it, it stores the result for a short while. Mm -hmm. But when you edit even just white space in your query, it it has to do the query all over again. 
um, which means that this is just blank for a moment here. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, it doesn't actually have to be named description to work. Let's see if I click this. Oh, I can't click it anymore. So it has to be named description. Ah, yes. Uh, right. pre previously, if I clicked on this, it would show up here. Yep. And you can actually use wiki text in, in the description, I believe. Um, see I if I can find can. an example. Yes. Um, there are some great examples on this on this URL you cannot see correctly. But if we go down here, they have a great example with US centers nice. by state. Uh, we could click on this. Um, so if we would go here, they can act. This is all wiki text. Um, yeah. So in this pop-ups, it's just wiki text easily. Uh, and as you see, you can also, if you have a, I think it's a Sparkle variable called fill. And if you, if you have a, a hex color there, as they're called, uh, you can decide on any color as well. I think you're right. Um, I guess it doesn't look totally. I'm going to copy this, see if I can explain it in VDQS. Um, is there a f way to format this? Easily? Automatically? Yeah. I don't know. Could this be it? Yeah. Oh, there is. Great. Um, so again, if we run this, it doesn't have any geodata itself. Um, we can see that there is a fill. It will fill the geometry we got. Um, we have a couple of this that isn't actually used in the final one, but we can see that this called title here is wiki text. It's a Wikipedia link. Yep. Uh, we can see the description here that's also wiki text. Uh, so New York line break uh, and the file and the size of the file. Mm. So one could do really advanced maps like this. Uh, uh, sometimes they aren't really that useful because you have to consider that people just visiting the an article for example would uh, if it isn't cached in wikidata it takes quite a while for it to show up actually mm. yeah. so there are some we, considerations we, we got a question here and i guess it's for your user uh, at the the URL to the to your user page, or where where you yes. have these things. Yes. Um, let's see where I have them. I tried to uh, do a Swedish version of this US map before for our counties, and okay. and it worked for a while, but then it broke. Uh, and I didn't know how to fix it, and so we're not using it. But it's, it's in the history of the Swedish county mayors or something like that. Yeah. So so often the the easy way to get started with this is just to copy an example from the documentation and change out the queue numbers and such, uh, as yeah. many people do with Sparkle. I'm actually yeah. posting the link to the documentation right now. Yes. Yes. So, so I had it working for a while, but then I guess something changed somewhere and it broke. Yeah, it, there was some problem a while ago. It yeah. maybe works now. Uh -huh. I, I brought up the, because someone removed it from the article when it didn't change and it yeah. still doesn't run in the old session. Are you, are you good at this? Good at the maps? Yes. Um, I wouldn't say good, but I know it pretty well compared to many watchers. <laughs> let, let me first uh, try to share my screen. I'll show where, where it is so you will find it. I'll go with this, I guess. So it's, I'm going to zoom in a little bit again. I'm zooming in the wrong window again. Here we go. 
So that's the article, Lance Hovding, which I think is yeah. county mayor. And right now, it just gave the map frame. Could not uh, interpret it with JSON control character error. Possibly coded wrongly. And if we look at the wiki text. Yeah. Perhaps you could check the example if they updated it. The no, one but there, that there wasn't showed. any stunts. So there, I just earlier today actually I saw a fabricator ticket when someone reported that example broke. Yeah. Uh, and they made they made a patch that fixed it. So that's why I believe this might be fixed as well. Um, All right. So here's the query. Selecting the first the ID and the actual the person who is the yeah. county major. And then I get one of the images for them. I get the fill, which is based on the party they belong to. And I format the name and the description. And there's the actual query, which is quite simple. And some optional, and that's it. So perhaps we should grab this and go to, yeah, and see if it actually runs, or if it's exactly. something else. But, so we'll um, go to query service. I don't know it. Yeah. As if this gives us a decent result, and perhaps that's, did I do this in uh, one too many? Or one too more, few? Like that. Runs? No. Lexical error at line 36. OK, lexical error. That's the last. Oh, I have this one still. All right. Try again. Yeah. This seems promising. It does. Um... Is it just timing out? Or is it actually those two things I don't think it should. that I removed? Because this works. All right. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm going to do Let's like try it then. Um, I yeah. see that it, it differs a little from the example, um, the so, official example on the extension help pages. Yeah. Since I'm in an old version, I'm going to copy my entire thing here. the entire map frame it go to the recent no no let's go to the recent is this the recent yes and we'll go down i had it just above this table and then it was actually this and this let's preview this and see if it works so the first sign of it working, it would be not the red thing, no. So it still no. had the... Um, what did the red thing say this time? The same. Yeah, the same, okay. Um, so that's strange. So it works, works yeah. in the query service, but not in Wikipedia. Mm. Let's see. I do have a select there, which does not have a... If I add this one, though. No.
Now I'm just testing. Now it's the same. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up on that one. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna copy it for later at least. <laughs> yes. Um, it's a quite nice one, uh, localization of the of the US one. It's always good to have a local example, I believe. Yeah. All right. Do you wanna grab the screen again? Do you have something else you're doing with the not oh, that I'm insane. aware of. <laughs> but now I got the screen. Um, yes, you're, you're in uh, control. Let's see what I got. Um, here's the query at least. Um, let's see, I have a bunch of bookmarks of just Wikidata queries. Let's just All pick right. something random. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops, VDQS, like that. Um, I don't name them anything. That makes um, it hard. <laughs> what could this be? It looks like a very small, simple query. Um, let's see what that does. Uh, what is this? Museums. Oh, so websites of museums. All of them, 30,000. That's All something I bookmark. Uh, actually, subclasses of museums. Um, so instances of, and then looking over the subclass for the instance of, so we can get all types of museums. So if it's an instance of an art museum, we, we get that included. Uh, mm -hmm. So everything that's a museum or more specific. Yes. Uh, we get a website for that. That's a neat little trick. Um, it's incredibly useful. Um, do you have a favorite query, Jan? Oh, this looks uh, amazing. This looks amazing. Yeah, it's it's a lot of coordinates and things here. I like, I uh -huh. like maps. <laughs> So I, I had this idea of a query before. Yeah. Uh, where I was trying to figure out. Oh yes, that's I like that one as well. Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, railroads and railway stations. Yes, and the color mm -hmm. is how far it is from one specific station. Okay. Yeah. So that's a really good one. So um, if you try uh, to change the country for Sweden here, it will show how good or bad our railroad system is on Wikidata, I guess. Um, so we've got several countries here. Mm. We actually, it's just, a, it's just an array we could do so like this. Control space, Sweden, something I should know. It's a low one. 34. And then, yeah. Let's see what happens. So it runs at least? It runs, but we don't get we're anything. Free. We're going to try, we of course, going to try Norway as well. Uh huh. Just to, if it doesn't work for Sweden, it can't work for Norway. It's... <laughs> I, I think I actually saw someone test this for uh, France and it worked. Okay. It actually yeah. brought yeah. something back. So it, okay. it's, uh, I, I guess it's just that we haven't really been modeling the railroad stations in, no. in a good way yet. So nothing for Norway. Let's, let's try France as well. Mm hmm. Oh, is that the right one? Oh no! So we got a tip. We got a, We got a, uh, actually a good here. We need to change the oh, departure right. station in line six. 
So of course we don't have any Swedish railroads yeah, that are connected to Indian uh, mm -hmm. stations. So Let's we could start with uh, Stockholm Central Station, perhaps. Yeah, we should have that, I guess. Or Halsberg. It, it has to have a Wikipedia article. Uh, um. Yes, it has. Uh, or we could go with Halsberg Station, which is like uh, connected to everything. Yeah. Um, actually, that's that's a better one. What could it be called? Railway station? That uh, here we go. I hope I got. Yeah. yeah uh, and are we in Sweden or still in France? Uh, I switched us to back to Sweden. Yes. Awesome. Oh, it would be nice if it worked on European scale. Oh, <laughs> tile. Yes. This is more uh, more intense than the Eurovision voting. Yeah, exactly. We should have some <laughs> sport commentator here. <laughs> well, that's us then, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Yes. Come on, VDQS. This is going to be interesting. So, visualization since VDQS is very dependent on the data, uh, mm, which makes yes. it great in some areas where we have spent time on the data, like here in VSP, central VSP, we have. Um, oh, yes. Is it all I, I do the central like... streets. Yes. That's... Oh, we got a timeout. Ah, uh, too bad. So, I'm going to um, I'm gonna steal this one back and show one of my uh, yeah. favorite queries. Uh, which you asked for. Uh, it's, no, it's not my favorite queries, but it's it's one of my favorite. Uh, ah, I'm trying. I, I'm trying to actually press a button in a window I'm not in. That doesn't help. So let's go here. That works better. So we we in Swedish Wikipedia we have a project for a city where you and I used to live. Now only you live there. So it's, what did I do wrong? It's the colon, of course. Yes, I do want to leave it. I couldn't improve <laughs> it. And here I, let's see. Streets, where do we have, oh, this one, yes. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's actually an example of an abandoned map. Yes. You mentioned it earlier. Um, the, oh, there it goes, just a little bit slow. So so here we do have, I'm, I'm trying to get the streets that are in, in the central, in the old town of Visby. But we have one fun street that actually starts in there, and that's the only one that extends out of outside of the of the wall. So it goes down to the south part of East Bay as well. But if I zoom in here, so we have, I think, oh, this part disappeared because I remember vividly on OpenStreetMap making this relation connect. Uh, okay. Because that's the the trick here that it actually pulls this in from OpenStreetMap. So every yeah. OpenStreetMap relation or um what's the other thing? Line? Is it called nine lines? I don't know. They yeah. have to have a, a point to the Wikidata object. Uh, and now exactly. some editing. Uh, oh, way. Yes, it's called way. Way is it called in OpenStreetMap? Yeah. Uh, oh, and also here as well, you see down here it lost. So we had. So in our Wikidata project, we actually made all the ways here on Wikidata and connected them. And I yeah. think uh, this. I'm going to go back.
from this and just go to an article on Swedish Wikipedia where here's one street that are actually using this. And uh, I'm going to no. show the wiki text here and zoom in once more, I guess. I don't know, even one more. So here I used the geoline instead of the geo shape to get it to work. And <laughs> I had some trouble with this before I realized that was the case. So if it is the line you want to get, you actually have to specify it here. But then you can get this uh, very easily. So you just ask, supply the Wikidata ID and it pulls in the geometry from OpenStreetMap. And you can get a Wikipedia article with a, a slippy yeah. map like this. And I think a couple of on a couple of Wikipedias, I think they have it in in some common templates as well. I think the Norwegian has that. Mm. Instead of having that static map, they have now these interactive maps. That's nice. Um, it is. Uh... And just for fun, I'm going to show uh, another from our project here, this is possibly less useful. Uh, oh no, where did it go? I didn't want to see this map right now. Mm, let's go for streets, streets here. And below here I made This one, I guess, is a query on Wikidata, which queries the streets and uses the endpoint property to connect them, which gives us, hopefully, if this one <laughs> comes up with a result, <laughs> it will gi give us uh, the graph network, I guess it is, which sort of shows the street's connectedness. Rendering result, that seems good. And oh. now it's possibly, possibly my computer that is a little bit too slow. There we got it. Um... Yes, we got it. So you see some streets are uh, an end street and only have one connection, but of course we have some running through the entire uh, middle of Old Town Wispy, Sankt Hansgatan, which has a lot of streets connecting to it. Yeah. And as I said, oh, and here we have Osterweg, not connected to anything. That That's a little interesting. Yeah, I think... I think that's one is created because that's outside the wall. Of okay. Stavag. I think it starts from us and going north or east. Of course. And it's called uh, Hestgatan inside of it. So it should connect to Hestgatan, I guess. Okay. I, and I don't think this is particular, particularly useful, but it's it's a fun little query. Yeah, it, it's it's a great small data set in Wikidata one can bring out when when I play with yes. the query service. Yes. Um, and it's also that part we had like uh, Listeria lists to help mm -hmm. us see what data we're missing and such. Mm -hmm. Yes. We have a couple of these. We, we yeah. also had a few manual ones here because we had a very good source. Uh, there's actually a, an entire book just about the streets. Yeah. And there's 122 streets in the... But we did use... Or was it below here as well? Yeah, 
the most recent one I'm thinking of is the one where we got uh, uh, what street were names af named after. Um. Ah, yes. But here we do have one in this actual uh, on this page oh, of Hysteria yeah. List, mm -hmm. where we have people buried in the eastern uh, graveyard, which is within in within Vispi, but they haven't. There's no picture of their grave yet, and we have actually had, I guess, photo walks around here, and we haven't been able to locate these graves. Although it's said they should be buried there, so it's uh, quite interesting. I remember vividly because we found some other Kolmodins at the at the graveyard, but not Kalulov. Okay. All right. Uh, do you have something else you want to share now, or should we call it a day? Uh, nothing comes to mind right now. All right. Um, All right. So I think this was <laughs> our premiere at, at this Wikidata live editing. And yeah, thank you for everyone sticking around with us. We have uh, yeah. still seven people watching in various platforms. I see people on Twitch, YouTube and Facebook and Periscope. So yeah, <laughs> kind of works. All right. Thank you, Albin. It does. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Uh, talk to you Thank soon. Thank everyone else. Yes. Uh, see you on the wikis. <laughs> <laughs>